want to unlock the bootloader yeah. want to get root access and drop installed yeah. get custom roms or kernel yeah. well my friend this is the video you have been looking for yeah. So in this video guys I am going to cover everything related to unlocking the bootloader both with the official method and the unofficial method and how you can get root access and install the TWRP and which TWRP recovery is the correct one for you now a quick disclaimer before we begin the video is that I want you guys to be able to understand what I say and what I do in the video exactly I will go very slow and very easy so that you understand each and every step thoroughly and then proceed ahead also if i am mentioning anything specific that you need for this device then it will be in the description box down below so make sure you check out the description box and now let's begin with part 1 that is the unlocking of bootloader okay so you're on your pc go ahead and download these four zip files first is the adb and fastboot file then is the me flash tool this is not the me unlock tool it's a me flash tool third is the unlocked patch bootloader that you will need to flash and a global stable uh, miui 7 rom that you will need to download now while these four files are being downloaded let's set up our phone so for that first go into the settings tab then scroll all the way down to about phone and tap multiple times on miui version until it says you are now a developer then head back and go to additional settings then again scroll down until you find developer options make sure enable oem unlock is on and allow usb debugging is also on then disconnect your device from your pc and then tap on revoke usb debugging then connect your device again then you will get this allow usb debugging notification tap on always allow this computer or this device and tap on yes and then our phone is completely set up now let's go back to our four downloaded files i like to keep them all organized in one single folder named unlock bootloader for that we know three and that folder is on my desktop so now let's extract the me flash tool right in that folder then open that folder up and install the me flash tool it's fairly simple and easy just follow the process through just like i did and install it Now extract the ANF zip file. It will give you an option to overwrite something, but just cancel through it, and then you can get rid of the zip file itself. But you will have these ADB and fastboot drivers in here. The next step, if you are on Windows Seven or above, you have to disable driver signature enforcement setting for Windows. So to do that, just go to the search bar here and type CMD. Then there will be this command prompt. Then right click on it. Then you will get this Run as Administrator option. So select that, and you will open a CMD prompt command prompt. So in that you will have to type this command. Okay, this command will be in the description too. So you can just copy and paste it just like I did. After pasting it and pressing Enter, close the command prompt and restart your PC. So after you have restarted your PC. connect your smartphone to your computer using the usb cable and if the notification comes for allowing usb debugging then allow it after that go into unlock redmi note 3 folder again and open this cmd.exe file in this type the first command adb devices and check that you should have a list of attached devices which should give you a serial number and in front of that there should be written device that means that the, that your device and pc are communicating normally and there is no authorization trouble between them. well if it does then type this next command adb reboot edl edl is stands for emergency download mode so it's adb reboot edl and after you press enter your device will go blank completely black out and there should be this red flashing led all the time in there so that's the emergency download mode then this new driver will start to install so let this driver install and select install software anyway if it appears if it does not then that's really really good so let this driver install now open the xiaomi mi flash.exe file and just minimize it then create a new folder rename it to fastboot chrome 
and then take your fast boot room zip file inside that folder and extract it the extraction uh, process is uh, quite long around uh, i guess one and a half minutes so let the process complete and wait for it after that in the uh, go and open up the me flash tool again and click on select then in select go to where you have extracted your file or extracted your fast boot room zip file and select that folder and click on refresh after you click on refresh there will be this table in which you will have under a device some com followed by a number this does not mean that it will necessarily be 10 it could be any number it will be a com followed by a port number so if it is there then you are good to go another important step look at this bottom line over here make sure you have selected on clean all and there is this flash underscore all dot part file over here after this go back to your main unlock ready note 3 folder there create another new folder and rename it to unlock bootloader then take your unlock bootloader underscore to zip file and put it inside that folder and extract it after extracting you will get this emmc underscore apps boot dot mbn file now copy this file and paste it inside the folder where you have extracted the uh, fast boot room so in the fast boot room there will be this folder named images open it and paste it inside that folder and you will get this prompt it will ask you to just replace all the files so yes click on the replace file option and save it. after copying just open the me flash tool again and click on refresh and wait about 5 seconds then click on flash now this flashing process will take around 4 minutes for me to 220 seconds so just wait patiently have a walk with your dog or something so after the flashing is complete it will say success over here in green so that's good now the flashing is complete now we have to hard boot our device into fast boot mode to do that we have to press the volume down and the power key at the same time for around 10 to 15 seconds until a bunny appears trying to fix something in his back that's the fast boot mode So yeah, you have to hold your volume down and power key simultaneously for around 15 seconds. Go back to your command prompt, then type fast boot devices. This will give you a list of uh, connected devices in fast boot mode. So it will be your serial number followed by fast boot. If it is, then follow head. Type fast boot OEM device dash info. This will give you information about your bootloader. So currently it will say unlocked false because it's not unlocked as of yet. So now to unlock it, next type command fast boot oem unlock dash go. Enter, enter. This will unlock your bootloader. And just to ensure, just type the fast boot oem device dash info command again and check. It will say unlock true. So yes, finally our bootloader has been unlocked. Now next you can type fast boot reboot. to reboot your device into your main os so at this point our redmi note 3 boot loader is unofficially but finally unlocked so the process of uh, part 1 is complete over here you do not update your os under any condition doing so will break your device you will either be stuck on the me logo or you will be stuck in a boot loop so now we have to flash the twrp recovery image Now we have two different versions of TWRP. One is the safe TWRP or STWRP version two, and another one is Alka Recovery. So uh, Alka to our Alka Recovery is used only to make a backup of each and every partition. So only Alka Recovery is capable of doing that. So if you want to make a backup of each and every partition, then you will have to flash the Alka to here. In this video, I'm going to flash this STWRP version two because that to our is capable. of making you flash an MIUI room as well as a Cyanogen mod or AO SP room what it does is that it flashes the patched boot.img file right before flashing any custom room so it does not make your uh, device enter a boot loop or just getting stuck on the me logo so here download the stop and put it in the block redmi note 3 folder like this then open up the cmd file in the command prompt and then connect your phone to your pc then first type adb devices just to check that your device is connected then type adb reboot bootloader this will reboot your phone into fast boot mode then in fast boot mode uh, just type fast boot flash recovery then drag and drop this twrp image file into the command prompt and then press enter 
this will fry the TWRP image. Then type fast boot boot and then again drag and drop the file like this and press enter. Now this uh, using this method you will directly boot into the recovery on your phone without booting into the OS first. So when you are in the recovery, you have to allow for modifications and then you can simply reboot your system from top and uh, TWRP has been finally installed on your device that easily. To root your device you have two options. Now if you want to stay with an MIUI based room or a custom room which does not have integrated root access then you will have to download a super su zip file which I will give the link in the description again. Download that super su zip file and put it inside your phone then boot into the custom recovery by pressing the volume up and power button at the same time until the me logo appears and then you can release the buttons it will boot up into the recovery then go to install and try the super su zip and you will have a super su root access available on your device and the second option would be to flash a custom room which is uh, which already have integrated uh, root access and which i highly recommend because i use the restriction device which is uh, i i guess in my opinion the best room you can flash onto your uh, device so it has integrated root access inside it you can go to developer options and enable root access for apps or adb and that's it yeah still if you have any sort of problem related to the device or related to this procedure then let me know in the comments and i am going to help you out do not worry about it so thank you for watching guys ats signing out peace